Interested in my wares? I could die not much going on like this. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? A treasure chest! Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? It seems we must part ways for the time being. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I inquire as to what's become of the regalia sword? So this is how the sword looked in its glory days of yore. It is splendid to behold. I thought the blade ought to be restored for its history, but seeing it like this, I feel it means something more. Something greater. Pray, give my thanks to the blacksmith who repaired it. Tis fine work she has done. Impeccable, I should say. And you, Sir Arisen, you have my sincerest gratitude. You have breathed life anew into one of our kingdom's most sacred treasures. I can imagine no worthier symbol of a sovereign's majesty. I await the day it shall adorn your noble hip with bated breath. Whatever hardships we face, we have little choice but to live on. Such is life. I'm afraid I'm not.
Lord. Whatever hardships we face. Approach whomsoever captures your attention. Welcome, sir. As ever, we are delighted to have you. Pray, do enjoy your stay. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. Goodness me. Appreciate you, Cuz. Here, Cuz. Just my way of saying thanks. You have my fullest confidence. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well, now, you have divined the Oxcast's destination, then. I see. So they were procuring pawns in order to carry out this excavation. The stuff you mention is most curious. It sounds as if tis of the same make as the jewel wielded by the Queen Regent's puppet. I had heard pawns face much prejudice in Batal. Yet to hear that they are treated as tools to be discarded, and given such perilous task, tis contemptible indeed. Volcanic Island has long been part of Batal's territory. The lake of lava present there is revered for its flames, which are sacred to the Batali people. Perhaps it would be considered blasphemy to give such work to their own. Or could this simply be a means of testing the efficacy of these jewels that allow for the control of pawns? I can offer naught but conjecture. For now, we ought to aim our efforts towards proving that a member of the Vermundian court has been selling pawns. Should we succeed, even the Queen Regent herself could not deflect the people's displeasure. She would doubtless lose their confidence. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. The evidence you have gathered shall form the stalwart pillar upon which our rightful claim will rest. Tis most valuable. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought to be used. At least here the Queen Regent shall face justice. You have succeeded where my own master... Welcome to the... We serve all manner of fine ales here. How extraordinary... Where's 
You have my fullest confidence. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Tis most valuable. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? The permit is intended for a bistron, which is to say, Your Majesty shall have to act the part of one. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve... A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. A new day, a new perspective. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be- I long for the times when I was always on my- Have you found any of the items we discussed per chance? Do come again!
Most sensible, master. You'll be- Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Always a pleasure. Welcome.
not test me. We shall await you here, Master. Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent behind that letter? Twould seem my mother has joined hands with a Batali researcher to achieve her purpose. Which, according to this missive, is to arrange things so that I might rule the kingdom. But I don't understand. Vermont needs no consul. It's found its ruler, its sovereign, pretender though he may be. To say naught of you, does she mean to remove you and the false sovereign both from the picture? Is that what is meant by this tragedy? Tis a frightful thought, yet we are in a much stronger position for having learned of it. You've my gratitude for this. I now know what tis I must do. Who was Dragonforged, eh? Perhaps we ought to seek out this man and his wisdom in Harv Village. Follow me, Master. I shall guide you to the location. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. Perhaps it is time I left this city behind. Not just now, I reserve these hours for myself. What a hardship! Astounding. You know, many of our patrons wish to take me for themselves. Yet, there is something different about you. Hmm, how curious. I lived a simpler life, once. But one man changed all that. 
Tis no simple matter for a woman to make it this far on her lonesome. Yet after all this time, here I am. Here I am. Tis no simple matter for a woman to make it this far on here I am. Approach whomsoever captures your attention. In case you haven't noticed, shops are closed on certain days, so if there's no one about, you might have to come back later. Welcome, sir, as... I'll put this to use. It seems we must part ways for the time being. It is no simple matter for a here I am.
before a customer comes along. Time was. You scarce saw any beast tools here in Burnworth. But that's changed in recent years. You'd think that'd be on account of immigration, but not so. See, a child born of both races always favors the beastron. At least I've ne'er beheld a human with a beastron parent. Oh, I suppose it might be possible, but tis unheard of. If we keep mixing, someday our kingdom will end up with more beastrons than they've got all in battle. We must rest, though the... Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? We shall remain here. My sincerest apologies. Lady Wilhelmina is attending to a patron at present. Have you given the matter some more thought, Wilhelmina? I would have no other as my personal courtesan. I want you all to myself. Imagine you in the arms of another. My heart feels apt to rend itself from my breast. Allard, pray forgive me, but I think it would be best for you to leave. We can discuss this matter another time. But why? We've only just. I am attending to a burden that all women must bear. I trust I need not elaborate further. I did not take you for the voyeuristic type. Why don't you come in? You have my thanks. Had I not noticed your presence, I might have slain him there and then. Tis no jest. You see, everything I've done these past few years has been leading up to this. I am here to kill him. But I cannot simply end his life, oh no. I must first expose his misdeeds. Only then will I allow myself to grant him the miserable end he deserves. Or so I'd sworn. 
But I've yet to find a single shred of evidence. Perhaps the time has come to surrender this crusade. You would lend me your aid. But I've done nary a thing to earn it. And recall that I've devoted years of my life to his pursuit, with naught to show for my troubles. If the proof I seek yet exists, it will not be so easily uncovered. I suppose there is truly naught I can do, save deliver him a gruesome demise for all to behold, that is. Still, if you insist upon searching for evidence of his crimes, three days. I will give you three days to find what you seek. I shall wait patiently, though not with bated breath. Minister Allard is a noble, yes? Do we know of anyone privy to the goings-on in the palace? The solution escapes me. As Minister Allard is of the Queen Regent's faction, I expect he speaks regularly with Regent Kim Sven. Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. We shall await you here, Master. wish to expose Allard's misdeeds. I know not whether I can assist you in this, friend. Ah, but of course. Patrick may know aught that could aid you. Go to his manor come nightfall. If you say you are in my employ, you should be allowed entry with no issue. Minister Allard is a noble, yes? Then it stands to reason that Captain Brandt would know of him. Then follow me. I'll lead the way. You have our gratitude. Lead the way.
Shall we get some rest then? Is this the abode of the good arisen? Pray, pardon the intrusion. I am an attendant in the service of Empress Nadinia. Her Majesty would make a request of you. Might you have a moment to hear it? You've my gratitude, sir. Her Majesty awaits you outside. Pray, follow me. We thank you for meeting us at this late hour, Sir Arisen. There is a service we would ask of you. We require protection of both our person and our identity as we make for our destination within the city. Though Batal has no official dealings with vermin, the countenance of its empress is widely known. I dare say Ian, a common soldier, would recognize Her Majesty. And trouble would undoubtedly ensue should the empress's presence be discovered. You must see to it that Her Majesty arrives at her destination unseen. We make for the Rose Chateau. Prithee see us there safely before dawn breaks. Now, let us be off! We ought not to delay our departure any further. Pray remain vigilant while escorting Empress Nadinia. We pawns shan't follow, that you might attract less notice. True enough. I beg you, I need that medicine. Can't help you, I'm afraid. My stock's low enough as tis. I shan't go selling what little I've got left to a ruddy beastron. But, but my wife, she's like to waste away if I don't get it to her. How very cruel. We ne'er imagine matters to be so dire. Is there aught we may do to aid this man? You have a kind heart, Your Majesty, but you cannot afford to reveal yourself here, else we may ne'er reach our destination. Perhaps the good Arisen would assist this gentleman in Her Majesty's stead. How can he do this? Without that medicine, she shan't last a week. What a likely story. I heard you whispering out there. You mean to give it to that beastron scum, don't you? What a good heart our Arisen has. But I shan't be selling it to you if it is to end up in beastron hands. Well, it is a princely sum to pay on behalf of a common beastron, but I'll take it. Can't afford to refuse a deal that sweet. The medicine's all yours. This is the medicine I need. You give it to me, sir. Oh, happiest of days. My wife is saved. Words cannot express my gratitude to you, sir. I shall never forget this good turn you've done me. That was neatly done, Sir Arisen. His lady wife ought now recover. We shall pray that will be so. Come, we've a ways to travel yet before we reach the Rose Chateau. We... Oi, you lot, help me. I've got a soldier on my tail. If I'd known it was his house, I'd have chosen somewhere else to fill my pockets, believe me. You appear before us to beg that we abet you in a crime of your own doing. What of it? You're a beastron too, aren't you? 
Then you ought to know, as well as I do, that stealing's the only way we can survive in this city. Come on, help me out here. Consider it a favor to one of your kin. Cheers, cuz. Beg pardon, but have you seen any suspicious persons pass through here? A thief is lurking about. Oh, now he fled this way. Surely you must have seen. Hold the moment. I know your face. I think you'd best come with me. Understood. I shall watch over this till the hour of its use.
Allard. Long have I borne witness to the man's arrogance, and long has it infuriated me. I visited his manor once. I recall that he was rather particular about the placement of his paintings. Mayhap he's concealed aught behind one. Tis just the sort of thing one would expect from a man who places so much stock in appearances. Shall I summon him here? You could make use of his absence to steal into his manor and inspect his art collection. Excellent. I will send word to him presently of some urgent matter that requires his intervention. Once you've seen him depart his manor, make your way inside and stay alert. We may not get a second chance at this. Good tidings to you. Seems no You'd best keep your distance. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. Perhaps this will serve as evidence. 